Hello, how's it going? It's Jermaine. In this tutorial, I'm going to tell you the absolute best export settings for YouTube only in Adobe Premiere Pro. I've done a video similar to this before, but that's a pretty old video. There's recently been an update to Premiere Pro, so I thought I'd just cover it again. Without further ado, let's just get right into the video. When it comes to exporting video for YouTube, I select the in and out points for the part of my timeline that I want to export. Then, Click on the export tab located at the top of your screen right here to open the export window. Now from here, we have file name, name whatever you want your file to be called once it's exported, location, where on your computer or what drive you want your file to be exported to, preset, we'll talk about this later, which is basically custom settings for your exported file and format. You wanna make sure when you're exporting to YouTube, you have this set to H264. Click on the video twirl down button, the frame size and frame rate will be set to whatever your sequence is. Now click on more to reveal more settings, select render at maximum bit depth and select to use maximum render quality. Encoding settings, we're given two options, software encoding and hardware encoding. Software encoding uses only the CPU to render your video. Hardware encoding uses the GPU to export your video. I'm going to select hardware encoding. Now, if we come down to bitrate settings, we have VBR1 and 2Pass and CBR. VBR stands for variable bitrate. It means it allocates more bits to render out difficult parts of your video. CBR stands for constant bitrate and it uses the same exact bits to render all of your video. You can only use hardware encoding when you have VBR1 pass or CBR selected. I'm going to select CBR and I'm going to set the target bitrate to 70. For YouTube, it's best to export in 4K or higher. In this case, I'm going to make sure my frame size is 38 40 by 2160. Click on the three buttons next to custom and select save preset. And I'm going to name it YouTube 4K CBR 70. Click OK. Now, if I want to export the same settings again, I can just click on this preset. Next, down in the bottom right, you can either choose to export in Media Encoder, which will allow you to continue to use Premiere Pro to edit while your sequence renders in Media Encoder, or you can click on Export. Click Export, in which you will see this tab pop up showing how long it will take to render your video. You won't be able to use Premiere Pro whilst this tab is up. And that's the end of the tutorial. My name is Jermaine, and I'll see you again in the next one.